Hey, God bless you, brothers and sisters. I want us to come and share some powerful revelation that the Lord gave me tonight. As I was just in prayer and just reading my word, um, it really blessed me and I felt led to share with you all. Um, so we know the Bible says that in, you know, in that day, he said, many will say unto me, Lord, Lord, have I not, you know, cast out demons in your name? Have I not, you know, prophesied in your name and performed all of these miracles and wonderful works in your name? And then the, the Lord will turn to them and say, I never knew you. Depart from me. You workers of iniquity. So we see how he says, I never knew you. I never knew you. What does that mean? You see what I'm saying? Like, what does that mean? And as I was reading in John chapter 14, the Lord was giving me deeper understanding of what that meant. What does it mean for God to know you? What does it mean truly for you to know God? You see? Um, Jesus was talking to the disciples and he was telling them that he was going to go, you know, to prepare a place for them. And he was telling them, like, you know, the way, you know, the way he said, you know, where I'm going and you know, the way. And Thomas said, Lord, we know not whither thou goest and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, listen very closely, you guys. If ye had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? You see, he said, he that have seen me have seen the father. And how sayest thou then show us the father? So he's literally, y'all, he's talking to Philip and he's saying, Philip, you have been, I've been with you a long time. I have spent time with you. You have spent time with me. I, you have been walking with me for all of these years. You have known me. So this is what it means, you guys, to truly know God and for him to truly know you, that intimate time. This is how we are able to know anyone. This is how we're able to build that relationship with anyone. You see what I'm saying? through spending quality, intimate time. You see what I'm saying? That's how we build that relationship with the Father. This is how we know him. Just like when we uh, come into a relationship and we fall in love with somebody and we're spending time with that person. And then we get to the place where we're, we're like, okay, we want to get married. We want to become one flesh. You see what I'm saying? When you become one flesh with somebody, you consummate. You see what I'm saying? And that person comes in, in unto you and you come in unto them. And it's the same thing with God. In order for us to truly be one with God, we need the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Spirit. You see what I'm saying? It was the Holy Spirit that caused Mary to even be, you know, impregnated with the seed of righteousness. She was impregnated with the Son of God. You see what I'm saying? So we see also in 1 John chapter 4, verse 13, it says, Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he have given us of his spirit. This is how we know that we truly dwell in God and he in us. This is how we know that we truly know him and he knows us. How? How? by his spirit that he has given us. You see, when we truly have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will draw us into sweet communion with the Father. 
The Holy Spirit will draw us into that fellowship with God. You can't have the Holy Spirit and you don't spend time with God and you don't lay in his presence and worship before him and seek his face. It's not it's not even possible because the Holy Spirit is what helps you become one with God. It, it is naturally you will do those things when the Holy Spirit is in you. And when you do those things, that is what helps you to truly know God and w- when he truly knows you. You see what I'm saying? He's able to truly know you because you have his spirit and his spirit leads you into sweet fellowship and communion with him. This is how he knows us. You see what I'm saying? This is why he told them, he said, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. They were still workers of iniquity because they never truly knew God. You can even tell by what they said. They said, Lord, have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not prophesied in your name? That was a clear indication that they did not know the father. They did not truly know him. They thought that the works and the deeds and the gifts, which are without repentance, were something that was going to grant them entrance into the kingdom of God. But you see, we have to truly know God. So I just encourage you all today to truly ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. Ask God to fill you. And ask him to draw you into closer fellowship with him. Ask him to give you a desire for the things of God, because when you're in the flesh and you don't truly have the Holy Spirit, you're not going to desire to spend quality, intimate, secret time with God. You're not going to have that time to really go deep in him. You see what I'm saying? So we need the Holy Spirit, y'all. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And I just wanted to encourage you all with that. Now is the time that we need to be really pressing into God and we need to be really laying at his feet and we need to be really filling our lamps and we need to be getting filled up. I'm telling y'all because this is literally the calm before the storm. This is the calm before the storm. God has given us an allotted time to truly seek his face and to truly get our houses in order. And we need to be redeeming the time. We need to be using this time wisely. Seriously, you know, so I encourage you, if you have this, this, this time, this allotted time to be really pressing in and really seeking the Lord, take advantage of it, take full advantage of it because there's coming a time we're not going to have this. You see what I'm saying? We're not going to have this. We're going to need to be really equipped and really armored up in this hour when all hell breaks loose on the earth. You see what I'm saying? We're going to need to be filled with the spirit, full of faith. Because the things that are coming upon this world, if you're not truly in that place now with God, and you're not truly being filled up with his spirit, your heart is going to fail you for fear. Looking upon those things that are coming upon the earth. Your heart, your faith is going to fail you. Your your faith, your faith is going to come to nothing, literally. Your faith is going to come to nothing, y'all. If you're not truly being filled with the Holy Spirit, being filled with his word and just soaking his presence and and allowing him to deliver you, allowing him to heal you and minister to you. If you're not doing those things now, you are not going to be able to stand in the evil day, having done all to stand. And that's just the truth. So I just encourage you all to get in that place with God. Don't take that time with him for granted. Don't take it for granted. So I love you guys, and I hope that this word blessed you. In Jesus' name, amen.